Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I'm continuing with my Let's Play of Blackguards. We're on episode 51, and we're getting pretty close to the end. I'm probably going to give it some time before I pick up the DLC and try that out, but well, we should be able to finish up at least the vanilla game for now, and well, we'll see how much further we must go before we accomplish that. I believe everyone is well rested, but everybody has a lot of AP, so let's utilize some of that. Let's start with good old Narum. I wanted to finish off his constitution. And there it is. I think I was doing something with his weapons as well, though I don't recall what. Oh, yes, it was two handed swords. I knew there was something I was doing, so there we go. He's 12. He's not quite maxed out at the 18, but nah, that's not too bad. And. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, oh, oh, I canceled it. I'm a fool. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, let's check out Takate. I don't think I wanted anything in here. Let's see the base values. Again, he's one away. Boom, we'll do that. He's at 62 vitality. It will up his magic resist by a couple points. That's it, huh? Wow. Alright, so he's maxed all the way across the board with agility, courage, constitution, and dexterity. That's not too bad. I suppose that's not so bad. Alright, um, Aurelia, what can we do with her? Her health is still really, really low. Her dexterity and her agility are still pretty low as well. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Um... Oh, dexterity is just that. Let's see if we can get two points into this. We've added the parry and dodge up a little higher. So hopefully we'll be able to max out these two stats over the next little bit. Assuming the game goes that long. Again, I'm not sure. I really don't know how far the game is going to go. And I kind of wanted to get everybody to 40 health. But it's not looking like that's going to happen. <clears throat> we'll get astral energy here. So we'll max out intuition as well. Prism intuition... Not so bad. Alright, and then we're gonna go find out Zerberon. Though I think Zerbs is gonna want some more spells. Let's get one point in vitality. And then we're gonna go to spells. And was it the ball of lightning? It was. That I was still working on. Um, I'm not sure what else to do. Hmm. Eh, I guess I'll just continue to pump the ball lightning until that's that's full out. Might as well. This, you know, it might be worthwhile starting to see how other things play in the game. That it might have been a wise idea to start getting these debuffs earlier in the game. It's probably too late now. So, we're going to go with what we have, confirm it, and I guess move forward. Hmm. Oh. That should not be here. Yay. Beware. Don't let it enchant you. This again. Well, it's been some time since this has happened. Oh. Because, of course, that's exactly what we needed. The one person that we wanted to make sure did not have those issues is the one person who, of course, has the issues. Alright, well, I want to... Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to go over here, then. Because, yeah, the little ten tentacle things are going to come out. Poison! I hate this thing. This is like the my least favorite battle to actually go through. I really do not enjoy these. Alright, another tendril. So anybody who's in or ordering the water is going to have these issues. Alright, now, I know I have a dispel magic thing, but what level is the question? Uh, spells all enchantments up to level 1. Her enchantment was a level three? Oh gosh. 
Nope, that one's supposed to happen. Uh. Oh, these wisp things are floating around. That's right, I recall them doing this. Alright, what do we have? Do we have a clean line of sight shot on? Yeah, we do. Well, let's hope that our spellcasters can... Oh! Okay. And it somehow didn't do damage? Shut them up! Let's see here... Um, Zerberon regenerates... And nothing ha It didn't even register that... Oh, maybe I, I didn't go far enough. Where does Zerberon cast a spell? I mean, we all saw the ground burst into flames here. Yeah, 99% chance. It didn't fail, but it didn't do anything. I really don't like this spite at all. Like, I hate it a lot. Alright, well, he gets to sit here and look stupid, I guess. More keep coming! So we'll move over here. I imagine oh, the wisps are going to be an issue yeah. next. So, let's see. Yep, we've got a shot. Is it going to work this time, or Damn. no? It hit and did nothing. I, I don't know. I had the same issues the first time I fought this thing, so I'm not really complaining. I am, but I'm not. It's one of those, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. But I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, uh, let's see if we've... I, no, we didn't. I know for a fact that we didn't. Alright, is that... That is a level 2 Thunderbolt. Let's see if this hits. And, of course, let's he fails. Wow, that was poison. dark, little dude. I hate poison. Yeah, I'm not a super big fan of poison either. Alright, well, thankfully, we can actually hit this thing, but... Of course, we're going to miss because it's clearly the thing that we do. Poison. And now we're going to have to get within range, and he's going to start knocking Narum down on his uh, behind. It's going to be very unpleasant. Hopefully, Aurelia breaks her More enchantment soon, and we can start actually owning this guy. Because as it stands right now, not enjoying myself at all. Fire another fireball. Huh. Once again, it did nothing. Uh, see, I don't understand this at all. So, we just sit here and wait for things to continue to do whatever it is that they're going to do. Wow, that hit pretty hard. Uh, Alright, fire in the hole! Hey, we hit him! First point of damage we finally did to this stupid thing. Poison. Alright, Aurelia is now actually capable of doing something. But she's so far out at this point that... Poison! Ah. Oh, and she got poisoned. So now her movement is going to be even more reduced. Hey, we hit something again. What? Poison! Can we remove the poison? I thought I upped that one, but probably not, knowing me. Level 2. I'm going to give it a shot. Might as well, right? No, can't cast it on anyone. Fantastic. Alright, how are we looking for for healing? We're, we're not, are we? Alright, what if I move here? I can throw a heal up on him. He'll complain, I'm sure. Stop it! I don't need that! Yep, we know no <gasps> Oh, come on, I need her to move. Oh, this is so annoying. <sighs> this is going to be one of those... Um, RNG things. Like, if she's the one that didn't get hit, this fight would already be over, and I would have already won, so... It's gonna be one of those... Probably gonna have to lose the first time, and then come back in and own it. Eh, I mean, maybe we can squeeze out a victory, but I'm doubting it. Poison. Severely, severely doubting it. Hey, I'm inflicted by magical awesome. More poison being thrown around. Always awesome. I always fun. Poison. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of poison either. And now there's more and more of these ten tendrils coming out. Re-poisoning everyone. And of course he's going to miss. But we already knew that was going to happen. 
And, oh, he did knock down her. Wow. Well, good. Now, can we ever actually move her, maybe? As Zerron is now being mauled by the, the three ghosts of Christmas past here. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's all well and good. And she finally moved, please, for the love of all things good and right with the world. I've been poisoned! Yeah, I, I'm well aware of being poisoned, guys. You may have mentioned this a time or two or three or I ten. I hate poison. Poison. I'm not a big fan of poison either. Did... Hmm. Please stop missing. Like, if he would just hit two more times, it'd be over. I hate poison. Our Narms is going to lay there. He's probably going to end up dying in this particular deal, but that's fine. Yeah, he's still standing, which is interesting to say the least. Alright, what do we have? Can we cast a spell? We could, but to what end? So, might as well try to throw some more damage on him. Oh, we actually hit it. What? 60% chance? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Snip it a snap. What? All right, here we go. The 300 poisons coming. Narm's gonna fall. Yeah, he already did. To the poison. The poison attacks. And all we really need to manage is poison. Really, one final attack or one good spell? Ugh. It's like four times in a row he's or four out of five shots he's missed. That is not 60% in my book or anyone's book, really. It's like, what, 17.3? I don't know. It's some very bizarre percentage. Um, Alright, well, we're going to move down here. We're going to pray that you actually survive long enough to land one more singular oh, attack. Good. And if you do... That should be enough. All of them missed. Poison. All of them. All of them missed. Why am I surprised? Poison. Why? Why am I surprised? Of course they Poison. all missed. Why wouldn't they all miss, right? I know I tend to complain, but stuff like this just irritates me. Of all the people to... and we won anyway. Of all the people to mind control, they had to hit Aurelia. Really? Ah. Uh, oh well. We did it. Hopefully we don't have a chained... Okay, good, we don't. Like, hopefully we don't have a chained event after that, because that would be pretty awful. We have to be running really low on provisions. In fact, we may even be out of them entirely. I'm not 100% on that. Let me take a look. Yes, I think that might have been the last provision. So, what I believe I'm going to do at this point is head to Hero's Hedge. And once I'm there, hopefully there's a vendor that's going to sell some Effendi. provisions. Effendi? Effendi to you too. Ooh, a war belt, a four slot belt. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Sure. Gimme. And yes, some provisions. Alright, we do not want 16 of them. We cannot carry that many. We're going to go with four is a bit much too. We'll go with three, which is okay right now. And I have a few things that I need to do. Oh, the Ripper. I never checked this out. Six to sixteen. Let's check out our actual equipment here. And I want to... Ch Ooh, yeah, she needs arrows. Hmm. There we go. Let's throw those into the mix. Good, and then we're now actually within uh, what we need to be. Ooh, the Ancestor's Root. Interesting. Alright, well, good. And the War Belt is actually going to go on her. Who knew? I don't think she needs a Master Healing Potion. Um, Maybe some poisons. That wouldn't be terrible. We'll throw some Dragon Spit all up in the mix. Why not? And we'll save that one for, like, the end-all, be-all uh, battle. Okay. Let's see what else we have. 
Let's so see if there's anything we need to deal with. Oh, I wanted to check out Narum's two-handed 8 to 13. And we had, what was it, this thing? The Ripper, it's 10 to 20 with him. Holy. I might try that out, actually. Okay, well, let's see here. I think I might even throw this in here as well. So let's see. We do 8 to 13, we do 6 to 11, and then we do 10 to 20 damage. I mean, that is relatively impressive. This does 6 to 21. As we level that up, I mean, we'll be able to continue, but... I think we're going to set weapon, uh, weapon set 3, and we're going to run with that. Plus it gives me some resistance to magic damage. It's a large ritual weapon of a goblin shaman. What? Alright, sweet. So, that being said and done, everybody's healthy and wealthy and wise. We're going to continue on. Back to the Moha village. And we'll bring the root. What's she doing? She is calling the ghosts of the ancestors. Is that... I mean, is that a good idea? <laughs> cool. She wants us to eat the root. Cool. Cool. Well, it can't be any worse than terra cat meat. Sorry, guys. Cool. My cool. House is exploding. Yeah. All right. So, Koko ya Takate, path through the mountain. Who chop shatan one pomo paka huwa? No, panka yonaona, panka huwa. The path into the cave leads through the bleak lake. Through the... Does that mean we have to dive? <laughs> Let's go. Fair enough. Alright, so we can go to... Or through the bleak lake, I guess. Well, we've got nothing down here. Eh, there's a ship off into the, the distance. Alright, to the bleak lake we go. Do you really want to enter? As soon as you enter the Eternal Valley, there is no turning back. Alright, well knowing that, we're going to save the game. And we're going to save it under one. Save. And we're going to hope that we don't have to reload that. There is a possibility that we're going the to. The bleak lake. Alright. Who wants to die first? Wait. Hmm? You're the only one who knows the word of banishment. It's probably better that way. Yeah. What if you die? Right. Then everything is lost. You should share the word with us. With at least one of us. One you trust. Oh boy. Well. <sighs> hmm. Sorry guys. This is one of those contemplative moments where... I imagine I could probably trust Narum, Zerberon, and Takate. But would Aurelia be less likely to turn on us if I, I'm assuming that that's still an option? I'm not sure, but <clears throat> would Aurelia be less likely to turn on us if we used or told her the word of banishment so she felt like we trusted her, and then she's like, "Hey, we we want you to be our hero," or will that just be like, "Yeah, I know the word of banishment. I killed him. It doesn't matter now." I don't know. You know what? Oh, that's it. I'm gonna man up. I'm gonna right. do it. Aurelia. Me? Me? Her? Ah, why not, friends? We've come all this way with her. Either we win with her, or we go down with her. There you go. Thank you. All right. So this is the last of the. Uh, I guess this is how the rest of the game plays out. Is on the screen. I'm not entirely sure. I I honestly don't know. I'm just assuming. So let's take a look at what we got. We have a cave, we have another cave, another cave. I assume they're all going to be called a cave. Yep, nope. There's the way to the Eternal Valley. So we, the shortest path is straight through. And then we have many offshoot caves. Well, that's interesting. Alright, let's see. Let's go to this cave. And hopefully, this is a good idea, not a terrible one. Kind of sad that I didn't load up on more provisions, though. I'm, I'm going to say that right now. I feel that may have been one of my mistakes. Oh, fantastic. A crystal. Ooh, there's chests. 
Alright, looking around, this looks exceptionally nasty and, well, quite unpleasant. So, I'm going to move over here. And... I'm going to go out here, I guess? Let's see, what is going to be the best thing to do? I think I know what I want to do to start this off. I think I want to move here. And I want to use the Hawkeye thing that I got. Pretty much pump up Aurelia a little bit more. Oh. He seems to want to go after her. Which I don't really think is a great idea for her. Oh, and I have to change weapons with her. Well, darn it. Well, technically I don't. Um, well, let's murder this guy if we can. Sweet. I was able to drop him in one shot. Excellent. Oh, I thought she'd be able to dodge. Shame on me. Alright, let's see how many arrows that our people end up eating here. How much damage they do. Oh, well, Zerbron, we kind of expected to have the worst of the of the of the luck in that regard. All right, let's see. Can we maybe not cook? Whatever. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Sorry if I hit you, Naro. Oh, oh, enemies only. What? All right. Let's remove him from nothing. Ninety-five percent, and he masterfully dodged it. Alright, well, kudos to him, I guess. Bam, you didn't dodge at that time, fool. Alright, let's... Wow, I really don't have the greatest of chances with this guy, do I? Hmm. One of these people must be hurt. No, I think I, I killed the other guy outright, never mind. Oh my gosh, I do not hit well with this guy at all. Alright, well, you know what, let's just try it without... Bam, okay. That's not bad. Um, I'll move over here, and I'm going to shoot a fireball in his face. Hopefully he doesn't enjoy it. He did not. Excellent. And I need to get one of the melee people up to the front. And let's get rid of him. Down he goes. So we're just going to get peppered with arrows, it looks like. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. We have a bunch of bandages, so I'm assuming that we'll be okay with that. I'm going to try to run Narum over there. Ooh. Hmm. I gotta say, I wasn't really expecting that. They're, I don't, are they going to keep respawning? This going to be one of those things where I have to kill all of them in one shot? I, I don't know. We'll see though. I think I'm going to stop pushing forward with my uh, magic attacks. I think I'm going to focus more on... Oh, I actually hit everybody with that. Holy... Cow that did a lot of damage. Oh, I fell over or something. I just tripped for some reason on random debris on the ground because apparently that's a thing now. Surprise! Right, should be enough to finish him off. Down he goes. We're going to continue to eat some random firing of the, uh, the arrows. Oh, I'm probably going to get smacked when I walk by. No? Okay. Well, they don't do the walk by smack, so that's good. Ooh, we have a 100% chance to hit that. Yeah. Down it goes. So now we can that actually deal with the skeletons. Uh, bonk him. There we go. 
It's not super impressive, I realize. Let's get rid of this one. Down he goes. It is sweet, sweet, nice. Really is. Gonna eat another. You know what? I think the crystal is healing us too. Now that I'm looking at it. Poison. That's really what it seems like. Hold on. Let's readjust our camera angle here. Alright, we're gonna move up here and we're gonna try to remove this guy from everything. Oh, we didn't quite finish him off. That makes me a little sad. Alright, I'm gonna get up into the mix. Fortunately, there's not much I can do. Bonk, down he goes. That's a good sign. And I should be able to finish him off as well. Good. Excellent. Oh, I ran Takate away and I meant to actually loot the uh, thing. Well, shame on me. Alright, I think I'm going to do a low level heal. Is it level 1? Alright. Throw that up on Aurelia. I'll have her switch weaponry this time, and we'll get Zerberon up over by the chest. Who knows? Must be amazing treasure in them. And the next uh, turn, I should be able to actually finish that. And I'll run him down here. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of. I don't know, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, I suppose I'll switch the weapon. Go with the blunt arrow, why not? Let's wait it out. You're fine, you're fine. Why is this health not going down? Is there something I'm not noticing? Does he like regenerate health? Is he immune to damage? I, I don't know. I opened the chest though. And I opened the other chest. Alright, now, is there anything to do with the chest after they're open? Nope, seems like that's literally the only thing I had to do. Alright, so I'm going to run over here and trap him, and then I'm going to eliminate this guy. Boom, down he goes, and we're going to end our turn. And boom goes dynamite? Not quite. Boom goes dynamite. Wow. dodgiest skeleton in the history of mankind, ladies and gentlemen. But we did it, and I don't know what we ended up getting. We opened the two chests. Didn't seem like it mattered, though. Huh. Well, no one's really heard Zerberon's a little low on his magic, but not real, real low. Um, hmm. What else we got laying around? He's only got a 2x belt. He's got 4x. Um... See, I never know when I should poison my weapon, like when a real nasty battle is going to come about, so I'm always kind of hesitant. I'm like, eh. Eh, yeah, alright. Well, I guess we'll move up here, and then we'll break off the episode after this combat. I'm assuming it's a combat. Alright, we are surrounded by nasty, nasty, filthy little spiders. And I said good day, sir, to the spider. Which... There's a web. I hope I hit that and not Takate. I did. Alright, um... Well, we're in a rather interesting position. So what I think I'm going to do is fire fireball at that guy. And she has literally, literally no shot at anything. So I'm going to move here, which kind of depresses me. 
Eh, we'll take a shot. Just be able to finish him off. Oh, we're using blunt arrows again, though. I need to switch that. Good. Oh, that's not bad. And poisoned, of course. Well, we knew that was coming. We knew that was coming. Okay. So everything is well as we would expect, I suppose. Do I dare? Wow, that was weird. My one key seemed to have gotten stuck. Alright, uh, let's try torching this guy. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Well, that's not good. Alright, well. Bam. Eh, a little bit of damage. It's not bad. Get away! And I was hoping I'd get lucky with that and be able to take him down, but it doesn't appear that that's going to be the case. The spider is now toast. I know, you think it's the spider, but apparently it's toast. Surprise! Don't oh, miss. He missed. She missed, rather. Bonk. Oh, and the dodge. What? I really need to switch her arrows back over to the regular hunting arrows. This is getting somewhat unpleasant. Oh my goodness, that hit Takate hard. Alright, let's take a look and see if there's anything I'm missing. Maybe that's all there is, but you never know. That should eliminate that one. And indeed it did. Excellent. Alright, well. I'm just gonna smack that one and miss, of course. And missed all of them for the like third or fourth time in a row. Hmm. Let's move here. Let's give her Hawkeye marksmanship, I guess. I'm gonna back her up again. Back her up there, and then I'm gonna switch her out back to her original weapon set. I don't wanna waste the arrows, and hopefully, Narm keeps face tanking everything just fine. Oh, I was hoping I would dodge it. Narm is getting pounded a little bit, but they're all baby attacks, so. It is what it is. I'm going to risk quite a bit here. But I don't have the mana to, so I guess I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it like a biscuit. Might as well try to bonk him. I knew it wasn't going to work, but eh. Gotta give it a shot. Oh, there's more. Of course there is. Yeah, we're getting a little overwhelmed at this point. Okay, well that went well. No longer going to be able to guarantee much. That's down. Um, don't know. Don't know what to do at this point. Just, just kind of lob fire spells at things and hope that it's enough to kill them off. Now it's going to be this, the round of slaughteration of uh, enemies here, and it's not going to be pleasant. The fact that these poisons are so nasty for hitting really, really hurts us a lot. Well, should finish this one off. And indeed it did. But to what end, you know? Let's see. 80% chance, still can't hit anything. 65% with him, and still nothing. Wow. Talk about bad luck. <laughs> well, we're not getting ahead at all. And we're gonna have to save our mana consumption. Might even have to use a potion here, which is unfortunate. But Narm is kind of taking a pounding. He can't hit anything at this point, so that's, you know, not good. 
think I'm gonna move here. And I'm gonna throw a spell on him anyway. I hope no more spiders come down in the meantime. This was a little bit nastier than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, really? And how are we supposed to do this? Because every single time I kill one or two, two more show up. There's no way I'm gonna be able to kill all five of these at or seven. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's seven. All right, let's see, seven. All right. Um, there we go. Got one. Woohoo! I wonder if there's something like we have to trigger each of the uh, web things and kill them. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to do something. I'm probably going to regret, but. I'm sorry, Narum. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. And a little fun. Oh, which one did I hit? Oh, it moved at the last second. Really? Don't move! Alright, sweet. Another one down. So that's... Getting there. We're starting to weed through them now. Come on, 45%. It's still almost half a percent chance. Whatever, I'll take it. 85% still miss. This game is just evil sometimes. Alright, we're gonna go with this and hopefully finish that guy off. And down I go. Oh, he finally got poisoned. Unfortunate. But somewhat expected, I suppose. Come back to us, Bumpy McSquigums. Return and fight another day. Maybe? Maybe? I don't I don't Oh! We actually hit something. What? We're gonna go try to hit it again. Boom! Yeah, really? It's still alive, huh? Aha! Ouch. And, I said good day, sir. It dodged with a 90%. Of course it did. Again, I have this, like, 45% chance to hit almost everything, right? Can't hit ever. 90% chance to dodge all day long. I'm just not good with RNG, I guess. There we go. Is that it? Is that the final victory? Oh my goodness. That was starting to look really, really, really bad. Hey, at least we got some poison out of it. I even think that's some good poison, too. Alright guys, that's going to do it for episode 51. We are in the caves of Mokpan Tohal. We're on our way to the, was it Sacred Valley? The Eternal Valley. And we have apparently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more, seven-ish more stops to go. I don't know if this is the end, the end result there. And it's to the Eternal Valley, so this isn't the actual last little bit, so maybe another two or three episodes. Maybe that 55 uh, episode mark really is going to be the final thing. Either way, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Till then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.